Okay, I have removed the fan from another computer, but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and mount this fan with this heat sink. Uh, it too was from a Dell, and I don't see any reason why it wouldn't fit because it's it's going to cover the uh, it's going to cover the CPU. Let me just do a a rough measurement here and let's see. Yeah, it looks like that'll work. Now the only the only concern I have is when I close the cover. Is that going to be in the way? of the top. That's the only that's the only concern I have. So I don't know, I think I might I might go ahead and take this fan off. Here's the fan here. Go ahead and take this fan off and put it on the um, uh, other heat sink so that there's no complications. But uh, before I do that, I think what I'm going to do is I have a can of air cleaner. This is a typical can of air cleaner. And it's very, very good. It's called Blow Off. And it's very, very useful for uh, computers electronic controls and all kinds of other other electronic uh, devices before you use anything like this though make sure that you read the directions and follow them carefully so that you don't run into any problems okay what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take this can of air and just spray you know spray enough air in there so that it cleans the fan now if you noticed when I was spraying that little that little whining sound that you hear is the fan spinning real fast and if that happens that's a good sign because then you know the fan is getting clean and it's going to run efficiently and also at the same time as you can see here the uh, the dust has even blown out of the heat sink which is good even though I'm not going to use this heat sink on this computer I still went ahead and cleaned it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and remove the fan from that particular heat sink. Now the only the only downfall I'm running into again is am I going to be able to use the screws in that fan? So let's see. We shall attempt we shall attempt it and see what happens. Okay. Got my screwdriver here. And I'm going to go ahead and remove these screws. There's four. There's usually four that hold the fan in place. But on that other heat sink, there was only two because of the way the heat sink is designed. Some heat sinks require four screws, some only require two screws. And one more screw. Okay, now all the screws have been removed. Lay the screwdriver aside here and gently lift the fan off of the heat sink. 
and there is our new fan so anytime you have to replace a fan don't ever think that you can take it off of something else and reuse it because you you can as you just witnessed see here's the heat sink from the other computer and being that I probably will not use this heat sink I'm gonna put it back in that computer uh, so that way I know where it's at and if I can actually reuse that system it will be good to go all I'd have to do is just get another fan but for now we're going to get this system running and now here's our heat sink that we're going to work with and what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you put on the fan you don't put it on so that it's backwards now this is going to be the trick here's the original bolts that came with the heat sink we're just going to slip them in hopefully yep missed the hole there we got the hole and so far we may be able to accomplish something here and then again maybe not and it doesn't look like we can use these original screws because they won't go down all the way so what we'll need to do is see if these old screws or the screws that came with this fan fit and the trick in this is to get the holes lined up as best you can so that the fan won't move during rotation and I don't like the way this is working nope I don't like the way this is working because the fan is I can pull up I can pull up on the fan yeah and the screw pops right out so that plan isn't going to work so we're going to have to come up with another another solution and I think what I may have to do is notify the client and tell her that the processor fan is bad and I don't have another part for it and I'm going to need to fix up another computer for which is probably probably the best way to go so as you can see sometimes you can sometimes you can go with the original plan and fixing a, an existing system or sometimes you have to make a change and come up with another system and fortunately since I have a bunch of systems laying around that isn't going to be an issue because I can get one up and running with no trouble so in the next video what I'll do is I'll when I'm real close to getting the new system up and running I'll show you uh, some of the final preparation stages before turning the system on.